Hello everybody, welcome to Orion Today, and I am your host, Keon. Today we have our guest here, Jen. How are you doing today, Jen? Good, thank you for having me. No problem. Uh, so to, it's come to my attention that you bring your pet to, uh, to us today, and then she's gonna do a couple of tricks for us, right? Yeah. First of all, can you tell us uh, what type of dog it is and how old is she? Uh, Peaches is a mutt. Uh, we got her from a shelter um, about three years ago. Um, she is now six. Um, we think that she is Border Collie Spaniel mix, but that's just a guess. Um, but it's based on the shape of her head looks like a Spaniel breed and uh, just how she, when she's stalking things and just how smart she is, that's why we think she's part Border Collie. Okay, so did you guys train her personally? Um, yeah, she came, um, she was a year old when she first went to the shelter and then a couple people returned her because she's a little bit dog aggressive. Um, but she was already potty trained. Um, she actually wouldn't set foot in the kitchen and she would not get up on the couch, which are normally good things, but, <laughs> but we kind of have trained her to not be as scared. Um, and she, all of her other tricks, um, she knew shake and sit, but all of the tricks that we'll show today, um, my husband and I trained her to do. Okay, so what, what tricks are you guys, uh, guys gonna do for us today? What's the first one? Um, well, we can have her do uh, just the basic sit. <laughs> Sit. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna move her bed so she doesn't sit. Let's try it again. Sit. Good. No, just sit. <laughs> She's really excited to be on TV. She wants to show you all of her tricks at once. Good girl. Yeah. And so um, I use popcorn as treats um, because it's super cheap. It's easy. It's l nice and fluffy. Um, it's not too many calories at once, mm -hmm. um, which is always nice when training because you have to give them lots of treats every time right. they do something. Yeah, good <laughs> girl. <laughs> yes. So wh what's the next trick that she's doing? Um, she, come here, sit. She knows shake, like, yeah. And she came, she came knowing, knowing that one, so they taught her that really young. One more, good girl. One more? Okay. Good girl. <laughs> and there's there's multiple. So this is um, positive reinforcement, and this is the best method of training. Um, so if they do something, you reward them um, with right. a treat, positive. Um, and then, good job. Uh, and then there's several different methods to doing this. Um, I started her off with just the good. Um, okay. And recently I've learned uh, to use the clicker method, um, but since I haven't done that with her, I just keep with my good. But um, similar, uh, there's a clicker, so you click it, um, and then you will give them a treat. And the purpose of that is to buffer the time in between um, the trick and the reward. So since it's too hard for me to grab this and give it to her, you say good, and she knows that good means a treat is coming. Right. Um, same with the clicker. Um, the purpose of a clicker is that it's the same every time. Um, so they hear that noise, they're like, oh, yes, I did something good, the treat is coming. I get that, okay. Yeah. So um, what else is she capable of doing? Uh, I see you brought some things here. Yeah, yeah, we can, um, I'll, I'll do a couple more of the, the, easy, <laughs> the easy ones that we know. Lay, <laughs> good job. Good girl, Peaches, okay, stand. Good girl. Right. And um, sit up, sit up pretty is one that uh, we used a lot um, in uh, canine rehab. So it's to strengthen the core muscles. Mm -hmm. uh, they dogs and people too. The core is the most important muscle to strengthen, or muscles I should say to strengthen. Um, so you teach them to sit up pretty. Good girl. And I at first when you teach them, you know you, you just get them to do it quick. Um, but as they as they get better, you can have them hold it for longer and longer. Yeah. Good girl, sit pretty. And another good way to strengthen the core is to have her look back and forth. So it's like st every time she turns, she's moving different ab muscles. Right. You can see her swaying back and forth and holding herself up. Um, I didn't bring it today, but uh, there's also discs that's kind of the same material as the ball. Mm -hmm. And when they sit on that, it's even more hard to, to sit. So it's like if you were to sit on a, a ball like that and pick yeah. up your feet, you really have to balance and engage your core. It's a little, little canine workout. Yep, exactly. Um, let's see. 
another one that, that she knows that um, it took a little bit of time, but Peaches is very smart, so she learns things faster than most dogs, which is really fun. Um, she knows spin. Good girl. And then, um, since I don't want her to just get muscles, <laughs> she knows uh, the one way. I taught her to go back the other way so that it also strengthens the other side. So spin, spin. Good girl. Go back other way. Good girl. Go other way. Good girl. Um, and then another trick that um, I learned from another trainer um, is walk around. And that's important if you're on a leash or have them on a leash um, outside and they kind of go the other way. You can say walk around and then they'll go back around the other way so you're not all tangled up in the leash. So right. Walk around. Good girl. Let's do one more. Walk around. Good girl. <coughs> Um, and another uh, training trick is, um, so you have to do every trick in little segments until they get the full trick. Mm -hmm. um, so if they finally get the whole trick, it's called uh, jackpot. So instead of just giving them one treat, you could like give them a handful or a bunch of them because they're like, oh yeah, okay, she really wants me to do that whole trick like that. All right, I'm gonna do that again because I get a whole handful. All right. <laughs> so whenever she does like a big trick or a harder one, I always give her a couple more extra. Let's see. Okay, you ready? Okay, so this one took me a little bit more time with her, but she's still really smart, so she learned it um, probably in a week, which is pretty good. Okay, yeah. ready? Ready? Figure eight. Good girl. Good job. And I gave her, since it's uh, a little later, I gave her some dinner, but when you don't give her dinner right away, uh, she does the trick super fast because she's really hungry and she knows <laughs> the trick. That one is a little slower than normal, but oh, I know. Say bye, bye, good girl. All right. And so, um, some more of the tricks that we use for um, strengthening exercises um, are the hurdles, but we use them a little, little different. Um, I won't have her step over these because she's actually a little too small for um, just stepping over, but it's a good um, exercise to help strengthen uh, the dog's like bicep and their quads to have them step over the hurdles really slowly. Yeah. Um, and that helps to dogs that had just came out of surgery and mm -hmm. stuff like that to re-educate um, them how to walk and to strengthen those muscles. Um, but I'm going to have Peaches actually crawl underneath the hurdles. Yeah, I know. We'll see if you'll do it. Okay. Lay. Crawl. 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 <laughs> She's like, no. Come on. Let's try one more time. Sit. Lay. Crawl. 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 Good girl. Good job. Hey, we'll do one just regular. Come here. So first I taught her just to do the regular crawl. Mm -hmm. Crawl. 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 Good girl. <laughs> um, and then I taught her to crawl under this, and at first, you know, as soon as she touches it, she's like, oh no, like the walls are caving in. <laughs> so eventually she got it though. And yeah, good job. And so again, that helps um, with core strengthening, just uh, stretching also in, in the inner thigh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Um, okay, and then um, she also knows just the regular jump. We'll see if you do it. Huh? Sit. Sit. Okay, you ready? Peaches, jump. Good girl. Good job. One more. Good job. And then um, one of the more recent ones that we learned is another strengthening exercise. There you go. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She, she seems to it. like this one. <laughs> okay. You just walk. Good girl. Okay, ready? Walk it. Walk it. Come on. Come on. Walk it. <laughs> the floor the floor is making a different noise than what she's used to. Okay. That's a good girl. Okay, ready? Walk it. Walk it. Walk it. Keep going. Walk it. Walk it. Good girl. Okay, and then 
Um, that's obviously, that's one of the more difficult ab exercises and right. also lower extremities. Um, but this is also a good exercise. Sit, stand. This really works all the leg muscles. Stand, good girl. Sit, stand, good girl. And to make this more difficult, um, we use the same disc that we'd use for her sit up pretty, mm -hmm. um, but we'd put her back legs on that. Sit, stand, and have her do the same thing. And that really works the, the leg muscles doing that. Right. Good job, sit. Sit, one more, stand. Good job, Beaches, good girl. Okay, good job. Okay. So, what other tricks is, is she capable of doing um, or that you notice that she likes the most? Um, any that have to do with treats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we are, oh, she knows, she does know one more, hopefully. She, we just learned it a couple weeks ago. Um, it's having her walk in between my legs as I, as I walk. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> Come here. Beaches. Sit. Good girl. Are you ready? Weave. Weave. Oh, let's start over. Come here. One more. Sit. Good girl. Weave. 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 Good girl. That's really impressive. Good job, Beachy Pie. <laughs> um, but our, our next trick that we'd like to learn is target. Um, and so we have these little blue discs. You can use anything, even like a piece of tape like that on the floor. Mm -hmm. And you yell target, and then they run to it and touch it. Oh. And it's actually, it's not too hard of a trick to learn. Um, so I'm sure she'll learn it quickly. But that's good if, you, um, if you're on this side of the room and you want them to like run all the way to the other side of the room, you just make sure to put that target over there. Right. It's also good to learn uh, different agility um, courses, you can just, whatever you want them to go, you make sure to put the disc and they'll go there because they know they get a treat. So really quick, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 we don't have too much more time, if you could give any suggestions to individuals who's trying to train their dogs, what, what would be a, a vital suggestion you would give to them? Sure. Um, I have three main things. Um, the first one is patience. You need so much patience <laughs> um, just because it takes a while, you know, they, they don't speak our language necessarily, so um, just lots of patience. Uh, the second one is practice. Um, you definitely need to practice every day, but you want to make sure not to practice too much in one time. Um, their attention span, just like people, really is, is not very long. Um, so just like five, ten minutes a session. Um, and then the third one is treats. You need to make sure to have the right treats. Um, like I said before, nothing too rich where they're going to get sick if you give them a lot. Um, but it has to be something that they like a lot. Um, a lot of dogs love their food. To some dogs, that's not really great. You need something better. Um, so yeah, those are the three main things that I would focus on. Well, we really uh, appreciate you coming here today and showing us these wonderful tricks. Uh, this is a very smart dog. And we wish to have you come again and show us some new uh, unique tricks that she probably learned in the future. Awesome. All right, so again, my name is Kian, and we're going to uh, stay tuned for the, the next session that we have, and we'll see you in a moment. Prescription drug abuse is a national epidemic. The new in way to obtain drugs is through parents' or grandparents' medicine chests. Removing prescriptions from your cabinet is the best way to keep drugs out of the hands of our young people. We've got to work together to protect our teens, our seniors, and our environment. Clean out your medicine cabinet today. Please participate in Operation Medicine Cabinet and drop off your unwanted or expired prescriptions at one of our law enforcement drop-off sites in Oakland County. We can't ignore this situation anymore. Hi, my name is Demi Williams and I'm cooking with Jessica Lavallis and today we're going to be cooking chicken. Um, First we're going to start off with the lemon pepper and we have here the um, Larry seasoning salt. You want to put just enough, not too much seasoning because you don't want it to be too soggy, the chicken. Yep, and you want to also get it on both sides. Okay. 
Next, um, we're gonna put these away under here. And we're gonna put out the um, onion, pepper, and garlic salt. So just a little bit of onion seasoning and garlic salt. Okay, then after you got your chicken seasoning, you want to put it in some flour. Uh, I usually put pepper on my flour just so I can get a chicken like more flavor and stuff. And um, the reason why you want to put flour on the chicken because you don't want to stick to the pan, you know, that would be bad. So you flour the chicken. <coughs> And so we don't have to wait in for this chicken to cook. You already have some already pre-cooked in the oven that's waiting. Okay. You want to make sure that it's flour like really, really good. Okay. After you have, now I usually marinate my chicken with red hot sauce. Frank's red hot sauce. That's like my secret ingredient. That's what I marinated with, but but um, we don't have none. I'm gonna wash my hands. And in her secret barbecue sauce, she likes to use brown sugar and hot sauce and lemon juice. <coughs> So, we're gonna let this cook. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna bring out the finished product. Oh, it's kinda hot. Oh, can I get it out? Oh. And right here is our finished product. Voila, voila, there you have it. <clears throat> um. I'm gonna take one of the chicken to try it. Would you like to try a piece of chicken? Yeah. Okay. This looks so good. Okay. Another fork. Be sure, whatever it is. Are you gonna try some? Yep. I'm waiting for you to get a piece. <laughs> How that chicken taste? It's really good. Mm, wow, wow. Let me try. That looks really good. It's really hot. Ooh, burning my hands. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I usually. I guess I'm a video bomb. You guys stay too. So yeah, exactly. Uh, tell us more. Uh, what's what's how you come up with this recipe? Where it come from? I usually like watch my dad cook. It came the chicken recipe like kind kind of came from my dad, and I've been cooking since I was like eight. So that's when I first learned how to fry chicken. Well, it smells really good. What did, what did you say was uh, the seasons that you use? I use um, garlic salt, uh, lemon pepper, a uh, little 
um, Larry seasoning mm -hmm. salt. And that's about it. That's what I can think of. And then I marinate it like with hot sauce. How long do you marinate it for? Um, just like a few minutes, maybe like a minute or two, like two minutes. Yeah. I just marinate it with hot sauce. Sweet, sweet. How long did it take you to learn this recipe and actually get it down? Did you, did you, you know, mess up in the beginning? Um, no, I can't say. Maybe the fire is messing up. Maybe I forgot to put flour in the pan. <laughs> flour on the chicken, I just dumped it in there. As far as the mistake I did. I bet before. that had to be horrible, right? That was a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? Um, the chicken was sticking, and it turned out to be really burnt, and grease was popping everywhere. It was oh just awful. <laughs> what suggestions you got for other people that's trying to probably cook this uh, recipe that you show us today? Um, not to use too much seasoning. You want to just season it enough. Yeah. Don't put too much. And or when frying a chicken, you can't have the grease up too high. That too. Don't want that. Those are no no's. Well, we are, we would like to thank you, lovely ladies, for coming in here and showing us this this recipe. Like I said, it's, it smells really good from here. It, if you could smell it right now, you'll, you'll want to taste some of this. So uh, I, we want to say thank you guys again for coming out. Thank, thank you, you for watching Orion today. And we want to say have a great day. Mm -hmm.